Well, I suppose if we include uh, in the intellectual classes, not merely people who have intellectual competence, but people whose work is with ideas, whether or not they're very good at ideas. That includes journalists, uh, professionals, government staffs, and so forth. Uh, they, not having the full intellectual understanding of the difficulties, would mm -hmm. tend to be more arrogant in their assumptions about mm -hmm. what planning can do. And perhaps it is the explosion of those classes in modern times mm -hmm that has led to uh, the acceleration It's the explosion, experience. partly the specialization. See, the modern specialist is very frequently not an educated person. He knows only his particular field. There he thinks, particularly if he's in any of the mechanical subjects, that you ought to be able to explain everything, that you can master the detail of it, uh, I find, for instance, that on the whole, the physical scientists are much more inclined to a dirigist attitude than the biological scientists. The biological scientists are aware of the impenetrable complexity. They know that you sometimes can only explains the principle on which something works without being able to uh, specify it in detail how it ought to work. The physicist believes that you must be able to reproduce every intellectual model in detail, that you really master everything. That's why I've come to the conclusion to say that uh, the physical sciences are really the science of the simple phenomena. Mm. As you move from the physical sciences, the biological and the social sciences, it gets into more and more complex phenomena. And the essence of complex phenomena is that you can explain the principles on which they work, but you never can master all the data which enter into this complex phenomena. Therefore, even a perfect theory does not yet enable you to predict what's going to happen. Because you have a perfect theory, but you never know all the data you have to insert into the scheme of the theory. Well, if the, if the uh, biologists are led to modesty by the fact that they deal with complex systems, why isn't the same thing true of sociologists who are not noted for their modesty? Or for a number of other desirable attributes they're not noted for? Because the whole science of sociology is based on the idea that you can explain society by a very simple model. Uh, I don't see any justification for the existence of the theoretical science of sociology, just as little as there would be no existence for the theoretical science of naturology. I mean, the separate problems of society are difficult enough and to assume that you can have a simple theoretical model which explains the functioning of society is just unfounded. Sociology has done admirable empirical work on detailed questions. But I don't think there is such a thing as the science of sociology. You think the reason they haven't been led to a uh, modesty which would be more becoming to them is that they started with a theory about the possibility of understanding the mm. entire society, yeah. which has prevented them from yeah. seeing its, the impossibility yeah, of that. Yes, I, 